For those who played the original Okami, you already know how great this game is. Now with the release of Okami HD, fans, new and old, can enjoy this beautiful story in high def. Okami is Japanese for wolf, but the kanji characters used in this game title are pronounced differently and mean great deity. It's a play on word, so you play as, you guessed it, a god reincarnate as a white wolf named Amaterasu. An evil you vanquished 100 years ago has returned, so you've been brought back to deal with it. Armed with a magical paintbrush, it's your duty to save the world and return color to the land. So here are five tips to help you get started in Okami HD. Tip number one, know your gear. You'll spend the first part of the game with just one weapon, Divine Retribution. This weapon is classified as a reflector and it looks like a shield. It also acts like one when it's equipped as a sub-weapon. There are three types of weapons in this game, reflectors, rosaries, and glaze. And you'll be able to equip two weapons at the same time, one as your main weapon and one as your sub. When you equip a reflector as your main weapon, you get a balanced mid-ranged attack. Rosaries are strings of beads that act like a whip when you set them as your main weapon, or bullets when equipped as your sub. They're the weakest of the three classes, but are great for long-range attacks. Glaives are your melee weapons, and while glaives may be slower, they're the most powerful of the weapon types. Throughout the game, you'll have the chance to find five weapons of each weapon type, so experiment with different main and sub-weapon combinations to find which works best with your playstyle. Tip number two, think ink. There are 13 brush gods in Okami, and each one will teach you a different celestial brush technique that can be used in or out of battle. Besides these techniques, you can also use your brush to blind enemies with ink. You can even change the thickness of your brush stroke. Use X for a thin stroke, which is useful for the trickier techniques, or use Y for a thick stroke, which is great for techniques like rejuvenation. Tip number three, get that glow. You may occasionally notice glowing spots on the ground. This indicates that something's buried below, so to dig it up, tap Y repeatedly. If the spot is green, this will release a clover in desperate need of some help. Use the bloom brush technique to revive it. If the spot is white, there's likely an item hiding there. Any items you dig up or collect can be found in your fan menu. Consumables are stored in the first tab of the menu under tools. Items like vases, statues, or jewelry can be found in the fan menu under Treasure Tome and can be sold to merchants for a nice chunk of change. Tip number four, Devil Gates. These creepy little shacks transport you to a monster lair and initiate a battle. Once you defeat the monsters here, you'll earn some money, but you'll also purify the area allowing for plants, animals, and other good things to return to the land. Those floating scrolls will initiate a battle too, so if you're not ready to fight, be careful when passing them because they'll chase you down. If you're accidentally pulled into battle, don't worry, there's a way out. Look for a glowing crack in the barrier. Attack it, then jump through it to make your escape. And for tip number five, we've got some rapid fire tips. The default camera controls are technically inversed, which can feel funny to some people. So if it's not your thing, be sure to change it in the camera settings. When running, Amaterasu's speed will increase over time, but if you want to jumpstart your speed, do a dash. Visit the dojos and fork up the money to learn new techniques as often as you can. These are incredibly useful and will no doubt help you in battle. Praise is earned when you restore nature or feed animals. You can then use praise to increase the power of your divine attributes. And lastly, this game does not autosave so save at the reflection mirrors every chance you get. Okami's familiarity, comforting story, and dreamy adventure will lull you to another world. While the character voices haven't gotten any easier to sit through, which you can mute in the sound settings screen, the lovable bits of Okami have endured and improved. When it was originally released, Okami's art style was groundbreaking, and now seeing it in HD only enhances the beauty of this game. So relive this classic tale the way it deserves with Okami HD.